Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. I'm currently at Ang Mo Kio Station in uh, Singapore. And today I'm going to be taking you on an Alsa Movia R151 train on the North South Line. There it is over there. It actually just debuted on the North South Line uh, yesterday, and today is its, sec is its second day. Oh, it's moving already. Uh, so before that, before it debuted on the North South Line, it has been running on the East West Line for one year. The train was meant to run on both the north-south and east-west lines, but uh, it only debuted on the north-south line yesterday. So hopefully it will run more often. Just needs to wait till this train over here departs. Okay, it's departing. Uh, the train here is a Kawasaki and CRCC151B. And the set I'm going to be taking with you on today is 1839 and 1840. As I said, this train was only introduced one year ago, so it's uh, brand new. The train model, I mean. You may have noticed that um, each car has different seat colors. Uh, that's how they do it on the north, south, and east, west lines. Basically, the um, there are six cars, and if you separate uh, those cars into uh, three, the end cars uh, have red and pink seats. The middle cars or the second end cars have uh, blue seats over there and the middle cars, I should call those the middle cars, um, have green seats. Next station, your true car. I decided to stay here because that's where you'll we'll hear the motor most clearly, although this train doesn't have a very loud motor in general. And let me tell you guys a bit about this uh, Alstom R151 train. 
Um, those trains were initially meant to replace the first generation Kawasaki C-151 trains dating all the way from 1987. Uh, those were the first trains that entered service on the north, south, and east, west lines. Um, but uh, almost three years ago, back in 2021, they decided to uh, extend the order uh, to also replace the second generation Siemens C651 trains and Kawasaki and Nippon Shario C751B trains dating from uh, 1995 and uh, 2000, respectively. So, in total, this brings the... Your true car. The total uh, number of R151 trains... Your true car. Uh, ...tender service to uh, 106 sets, if I'm not wrong. 66 sets to replace the first generation trains, 19 sets to replace the second generation trains, and 21 sets to replace the um, third generation trains. So in general, what do I think of these trains? Um, I think uh, they they definitely have a um, a noticeable different, noticeably different interior than the uh, than the older trains. Uh, they definitely look more modern, um, perhaps more sleek. Uh, for some people, um, and it's finally the first uh, non-Kawasaki and CRRC uh, train after uh, three three orders. They also have very good sound insulation. Like um, it, um, it absorbs a lot of the noise uh, from outside, like tunnel noise, even the motor. Um, but I think uh, there can be a few stuff improved. Uh, like for example, um, I would say that. Uh, The, um, their gangways are quite squeaky, for example, at such, an, at such a young age. Uh, what else can I say? I'm not sure how it is uh, now, but I, I felt like many of those uh, R151 trains don't actually have a very cold air con. Like, from my experience, uh, they... Their aircon is cold when the doors are open, but suddenly be uh, it becomes hot when the doors are uh, closed and when the train is uh, running. Here it's not really the case. I think this could be okay. I think it's quite okay. Uh, but many other R151 trains that I rode on uh, had this uh, had this problem. Other than that, I can also uh, say that something that could be improved is the uh, door delay. What I mean by that is that um, whenever the train comes to a stop, uh, for example, the, the trains, the, the doors uh, take quite a while to open. Like the, the platform screen doors are always ahead uh, by a few seconds when it comes to door opening and uh, closing. So they, 
they have a few second delay when uh, when they open, both when they open and they clo when they close. I'll show you that once again uh, when that when the doors open. But I think you might have seen it when they close. But if you compare it to other uh, trains. I'll talk you through it, guys, once uh, when the train arrives. Uh, uh, now you can hear the squeaky gangway. Yeah. So overall, in conclusion, um, I wouldn't say I like these trains that much, especially knowing that uh, they will make up the, the majority of the whole uh, fleet of the north, south, and east, west line once all of the older trains are replaced. Probably by 2026, somewhere there. But what to say, that was the decision made, the final decision. In initially, the second generation trains were supposed to get refurbished. Um, and they refurbished Three trains, I think, before canceling their order. Oh yeah, guys, look at the doors. So you see that the platform screen doors open first, and then only the, the train doors. Oh yeah, back to what I was saying. The, the second generation trains were meant to be refurbished. Um, but the refurbishment was uh, not planned properly. And as a result, uh, they had to um, they had to cancel it. And unfortunately, the three trains that got refurbished went for scrap, which I think is a huge waste. Uh, if they couldn't Doors put them into service uh, because they were not compatible with the uh, signaling, I think they could have at least maybe preserved them in a museum or something. But unfortunately. The Land Transport Authority, Next which is uh, sort of the big boss of the public transport in Singapore, unfortunately decided to send them for scrap. I really think they could have done something else, but what to say? All right, we're going to write one more station and then I'll end the video there. For the third generation uh, trains, they didn't get refurbished either. Um, I think in the past they would have probably thought of refurbishing them eventually, but um, that plan was never uh, was never uh, made because uh, they thought it was just more efficient to, or say more less costly to buy new trains, especially since their quantity is little compared to other trains on the line. Okay guys, um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll try to make more of those videos in the future. And um, please, um, Leave a comment as well if you'd like me to uh, get on a specific train Doors are uh, and show 
and talk about a specific bus or train. See you guys. Bye-bye.